This week, we've got brand new announcements from Audio Control, Diamond Audio, Alpine, and Orion Car Audio. This is CMA All Access, brought to you by SiriusXM and sponsored by Five Access Innovations. And it starts now. As you know, the SEMA show has now concluded, but the, the takeaway from this show is always going to be ongoing. We go now to Brian Piper from Diamond Audio, who is very proud to present a brand new innovative product for a segment that they've become known for in motorcycle audio, or shall I say, outdoor audio. Brian, what can you tell us about this very intriguing and very unique product that Diamond has unveiled at SEMA? So. We are happy to re announce a hydrophobic membrane that we have been working on for uh, about a year and a half or so. Um, finally got through all the testing, got the contracts done, all of that, and we got it just in time to release it at SEMA. So what it is, is it's called Hydro Pro, and basically it's just a very thin membrane with an adhesive ring on it that's around the back here that allows you to attach this to a speaker specifically designed for our MP series speakers in Diamond Audio and our PH series speakers in Sirwin Vega. Um, but they can be attached to any speaker, any of our speakers they, it will work on. Um, if you get into like a six by nine like this, the great thing about this is as we were showing at SEMA, you can either attach this to the speaker to the spacer ring for our lid kits or you can attach it to the lid kit itself you just invert it and stick it to the underside of the frame of the lid kit and then your six by nine bolts to the lid kit underneath it it's already got holes perforated in it and everything for the lid kit so you're good to go so the great thing about it is it is a hundred percent acoustically transparent but it will not allow water to pass through it so for all of those guys using compression horns or any other type of speaker that may not be 100% waterproof, you want to use it in a bike or a boat or a side-by-side -side or whatever the case may be, this is your solution. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's back that up just a little bit, Brian, because you said a lot in a very short amount of time. So let me get this right. Diamond Audio has found an, a membrane because there has been a lot of attempts at trying to find, you know, a hydrophobic membrane that will allow the protection of these speakers. And as you mentioned, especially in environments like the motorcycle or even power sports, for example, where we want these pro style speakers with these open ended tweeters. This is a, a solution to be able to protect these drivers in those scenarios. Now, I'm going to challenge you a little bit when you say waterproof, because like in outerwear, for example, you see jackets that say they're waterproof when really, you know, there's something called saturation and the more moisture that goes on for a certain amount of time, you know, that waterproofness degrades over time. So let's take a closer look at what you mean when you say waterproof. So, yeah, Ben, um, the question of, of protection and waterproofness uh, was brought up a lot. You know, this is something we've talked about the entire time we've been working on this project. Um, you know, as you guys roll this little video right here, we're going to talk about how this works. You know, the, when the water gets onto the screen or to the membrane, it's hydrophobic. It doesn't allow it to pass through. It doesn't allow it to absorb. There's no saturation rate for it because it never saturates the membrane. It keeps it on it. And then as the water evaporates, it just goes away. It never saturates into the material at all. So let me get this right, Brian, without a saturation factor involved here, is there any type of long-term maintenance? I know that with other materials that are out there that are waterproof, you have to apply certain chemicals or sprays or whatnot. What is the long-term maintenance of this material? So Ben, there really is no maintenance to this. In our tests, the only thing that ever really happened on the film is when the water dissipates off of it or uh, evaporates. You might get like a white film on there and you can just take a damp rag and wipe it off and it's gone. There's nothing left. Um, so you don't have to put a chemical on it. There's no reason to maintain the hydrophobic quality of the film. It just is that way. Uh, this stuff has been used for years in other applications in motorsports 
we were able to work with that factory to create the applications for our needs and for the motorcycle audio industry. So it's, again, very easy to apply. There's little to no maintenance to it at all. Uh, just apply and go kind of thing. Uh, the great thing about this stuff is it is made in the United States and it is fully patented in the United States. So at this time, uh, Diamond Audio and Sirwin Vega are the only uh, sources for this material. Well, I know you certainly have my interest peaked because I know for a fact that dealers and enthusiasts of this type of audio and these type of environments have always been on the lookout for a solution to help protect their investment. Let's be honest, a lot of the speakers and drivers within this segment are not cheap. They are very high level, high performance pro style speakers. So the other question I have for you then is what effect does it have on the audio performance? Is there any dampening? Do we lose any acoustical performance? And, you know, at what cost is it to have them protected with this membrane? So, Ben, when I first got this material and did a test with it, uh, we put it on an RTA and ran the speakers for a while, did some measurements. On an EQ, there's no change. It does not affect the acoustic performance at all. When we put it through the RTA, it was a 0.01% or 0.01 dB difference. So one hundredth of a dB difference. That was it. So it's basically acoustically transparent in every application. All right, Brian. Well, the only things that I want to know at this point is, A, what are the applications that will be available? What is the availability? And what is the price from a, from a map perspective? Ben, these are available in a six and a half, a six by nine, and an eight inch platform. They are available and shipping now from any Diamond Audio or Sirwin Vega dealer. Pricing is uh, six and a half are $69.99 per pair in the US. And then the eight and the six by nine will be $89.99 per pair. Hi, Jody from Five Access here. Just want to bring everybody up to speed with what we do and how we do it. We're a display company. We do a lot of custom graphics. Obviously, we do custom audio boards. We do RGB lighting. We do graphical work up top. We also do all the different custom amp mounts. So for all your store needs, we do front counters. We do home audio sections. We do lighting. Everything that you're looking for, give us a call. Again, it's Five Access 414-326-7162. Earlier this year, the team at Alpine unleashed some new technology that absolute ha absolutely has the entire industry turning heads because they came up with the Optimate system, which involves some auto-tuning features and made it real simple for dealers to get into this space. Well, they've added again by adding another unit to the offering. This time, it's called the Optim 6. We go now to their product expert, Eric Brooks, who can give us a little bit more on this announcement. Eric, what can you tell us about this new Optum 6 unit? Hey, Ben. Yeah, the Optum 6 is a really great piece. It's a six-channel auto-tuning DSP. It has six channels of high-level input, six channels of RCA input, six channels of four-volt RCA output, and then you can go ahead and auto-tune the vehicle. So you can sound-tune the car in about two minutes. So it's a really flexible way to upgrade basically any system out there. So obviously, Eric, this is a six-channel version of the Optimate, but it, it, it's not just a duplicate with a six-channel version. There are some differences. But before we get into the specifications, you mentioned something back there, that this is a great unit to be able to uh, apply to existing systems. So for example, for customers who already have a basic sound system upgrade, maybe they have some amplifiers installed, maybe they've upgraded their speakers. Can this new Optum 6 unit be integrated and used to upgrade the sound for these customers? Uh, yeah, it absolutely can. And it really, the way this thing comes default out of the box, right, for the configuration, all of the inputs are activated. So the high level inputs and the, the RCA inputs are all on. And the outputs are all set to full range. So six uh, six outputs that are full range. So if you have a system that has a four channel amp and a mono amp in it already, and you're using the crossovers in your amplifiers, basically all you would have to do is put this thing in line, uh, add power ground and ignition to it, uh, and then do the auto tune. There's really very um, little setup that you need to do if you're going into that type of add-on uh, solution. 
Now you heard Eric there talk about the auto tune sequence. If you want more information on that, I do recommend you check into our archives at cmanetworks.com where we did a full dive into Optimate with Eric during our DSP sessions. Now on the on the subject of integrating this new Optim 6 unit into existing systems, I'd like to ask you Eric about its capability when it comes to OEM integration scenarios such as if the customer has a vehicle that well simply we cannot replace the source unit for example. Yeah, the Optum 6 really is a great way to tie into an OEM system. It has the six channels of high-level input. And what's great about them is the fact that they can accept up to 30 volts of input. So basically, any factory amplified system, you can input that in uh, with no problem and accept that input. Now, when it comes to uh, load resistance and all-pass filtering and that kind of stuff on an OEM side, there are third-party manufacturers that currently make products that you might want to add into the system as well. But as far as taking that input and getting it into the Optum 6, it's really easy to do. And it has matrix summing, so you can mix channels together and, and really create the system that you need to tie into your OEM head unit. Now, Eric, what about on the software side of things? You know, dealers are getting introduced to this new Optimate software, which obviously is not that complicated as, as we've covered in the past. But this Optim 6, does this require another platform, more knowledge, or how does that work? What's cool about Optum and its software is the Optimate and the Optum 6 both use the same software. So when you connect it, you just select which one you're controlling and it automatically figures it out. So that's really cool. And again, in setting this thing up, it's very, very easy. Basically, you need to determine what type of input you're using, what type of output you're using, set your crossovers and your levels, and then you can do your auto tune. So it really is an easy way to set up a vehicle and make it sound great. Well then, Eric, why don't you help sum it up for us? <laughs> See how I use that word? Um, why do you think dealers are really going to be uh, gravitating towards this new unit in the Optum 6? And how do you see it being used uh, on a daily install level? So as a dealer, I would look at this as an opportunity to get back into a customer's car that maybe I already sold them a system. Maybe I sold them a four-channel mono amp. Uh, we're always looking for ways to get our customers back into our stores and sell them more product, right? And have another touch point. Well, this Optum 6 gives you the ability to reach out to those customers and let them know you can change their whole audio experience, right? Just by adding this to their system. So that's a huge benefit of this. And through the auto tuning, it doesn't take a lot of time to really make the car sound great. And it's a great way to improve basically any system that's out there uh, using this two minute auto sound tuning process. Okay, Eric. Well, last but not least, what is the availability on the Optum 6 and where can people find more information? So the Optum 6 is hot off the presses. It should be available now to you. And uh, a great way to find more information about the product is on alpine-usa.com. Uh, you can go to our product pages, find it there. Also find all of our other great products that we have available right there on our website. Hey guys, Ricky Lima here from Series 6M. I had a chance to speak to some dealers and ask them what they love about selling Series 6M. Here's what they had to say. Coast to coast coverage. I love Sirius XM for commercial free music. It's a great ad on sale and a profit opportunity. We love selling Sirius XM because you can listen to the same channel coast to coast. Profitability and ease of installation. It's a no brainer. We love selling Sirius XM for its ease of installation, great profitability and its reliability. People love it. Well, this has been a huge year for audio control by introducing their brand new PMW series speakers, as well as two different lines of subwoofers. Well, the news doesn't end there. Fresh off the press from SEMA, it looks like audio control has added yet another amazing addition to their collection. We go now to Matthew Palumbo, who's standing by to tell us all about the all new audio control subwoofer enclosures. Yeah, absolutely, Ben. We're super excited uh, to bring these pre-loaded enclosures to the market and really kind of show what the space and spike woofers can do. You know, it's always that kind of struggle with uh, subwoofers, right? What enclosure to put them in? Um, you know, does the enclosure fit and does the woofer fit in the enclosure? Is it the right airspace? Is the port the right design? Things like that. And so we wanted to make sure that there was an easy drop-in solution 
for the end consumer as well as for shops. You know, I see a lot of shops these days like to have prefab preloaded enclosures on the show floor ready to go so that they can save the time and energy it takes to build an enclosure. Um, it's not a simple task, right, to build a high quality enclosure. And that's absolutely what these are. So we're really excited to have these five new models uh, coming to the market. I'd be lying, Matt, if I didn't think I kind of saw this coming, and I think everybody else did too, but we're happy to be able to talk about them today here on CMA Live. Uh, let's get the physicality and the specs out of the way. What are the materials? What do they feel like, look like? Uh, do you have one there that you can show us? I sure do, Ben. I have our single eight-inch spike vented enclosure in front of us. As you can see, that beautiful spike woofer in there. Uh, this is the eight inch model. This is a single two ohm woofer as are all the enclosures. And uh, basically what we have is a really nice vented box with um, you know, some beautiful kind of details to it. And uh, we can get into all the details later, but you know, what we wanted to do was really have an enclosure that, like I said, dealer could just drop in, get some high performance out of and have an awesome audio control signature sound right out of the gate. Yeah, so when we take a look at the side of the enclosure, you'll notice it's got this really cool curved shape to it um, where the slot vent is. And then if we were to take a look at the inside of this enclosure, you'd also see that it is uh, internally braced. There's even a structure in there that holds the backside of the magnet and motor structure to make sure that there's never any damage or issues with the woofer breaking the face of the enclosure. Um, these are you know, roadkill uh, armor coat sprayed. So they're kind of like a bed liner spray, but it's a little bit finer and a little classier looking. And then these front and side panels are all wrapped in a really nice textured uh, marine grade vinyl. Um, for a lot of you that are looking at the terminal right now, you'll notice, of course, you have our nice uh, compression spring clip, typical connector there. But down below here, we have this cool little connector that opens up and it includes this little guy to go with it. So if you want to have an enclosure that can easily be kind of uh, taken in and out of the vehicle when you need the extra cargo space, we include that XT90 connector and pigtail harness in there. But one extra little feature built in is these little mounting holes right there because we don't want you to have to screw some uh, back strap or some homemade brackets into this thing. We include these really nice little metal brackets. They're nice and thick and powder coated. We include those. Those are going to mount to those little holes on the side there. And we even give you some nice stainless hex head hardware to go with it. That's going to secure it to the enclosure. And we include the stainless self tappers to go into the vehicle. Um, even all of these are the same hex head pattern. So you've got a nice consistent look because again, you know, it's audio control. So it's all about the details. As per usual, some really nice touches there for the subwoofer enclosure, including that detachable or I guess, easy access in and out unplug situation along with the terminals. And of course, as usual, the grills are included as well. Now let's talk about breakout and selection of product. Obviously um, there are different woofer, uh, variations, um, both in the shallow, I would imagine, as well as the more traditional size. So what is the breakout and offering for these enclosures? Yeah, Ben, so in the Spike series, like we just took a look at, there's three models. There's the 8, the 10, and the 12. Um, so that's an SPK V8, SPK V10, and SPK V12. Uh, with all of those, they're all a single 2-ohm model woofer that's installed in there. And one thing that we didn't really mention when looking at the enclosure itself was that the woofer that we include in these enclosures is the exact same woofer as you would buy by itself. You know, a lot of companies, when they do a prefab preloaded enclosure, they put a slightly different woofer in the enclosure closure uh, than they would sell you by itself. So they don't maybe put as much time and energy and cost into the backside of the woofer. Sometimes it's not painted. There's no rubber boot. Some of the, some of the cosmetics aren't there sometimes. Um, and sometimes they're a flat out different woofer altogether. We wanted to make sure that it's the same exact woofer for a couple of reasons. One, we didn't want to pull a bait and switch. We want to make sure people feel like they're getting the authentic audio control experience. But also, if there should ever be a warranty issue, the dealer can then take a woofer from their inventory and swap this one with a you know standard component woofer, and it's the exact same one. Makes things much, much easier. You're never shipping back an enclosure or anything like that. Um, in fact, you're never shipping back a woofer at all, right? Everything's field destroyed these days on, on speakers and subwoofers. So with those three different models, you have the power handling of the woofer itself. So the eight inch model, the SPK V8 handles 500 RMS. The SPK V10 handles up to 700 RMS. And the SPK V12 handles 700 RMS as well. 
All right, so we've got those single woofer models right now for two ohm voice coils ready to go in both 8, 10, and 12. But what about for those shallow situations or small space situations? I'm pretty sure there's going to be a space solution as well available. Absolutely, Ben. So as you know, we offer the space series subwoofers, our shallow woofers. We also offer the space series of enclosures. So this is the SPC. Uh, W10, and we have an SPC W12, which is the 12-inch model. And these are gorgeous enclosures, kind of similar architecture to the Spikes one uh, that we just looked at. So this has that same armor coating, uh, roadkill armor coat on the exterior, and that beautiful uh, marine grade textured vinyl on the face panels and sides, as well as that cool kind of rounded back and corners there, and that really neat integrated mounting system into the terminal cups with that uh, XT90 quick connect harness. So they all add up to a beautiful enclosure that fits in a lot of spaces. What's nice too is that they can not only stand up like I'm holding it now, they can obviously go under a back seat or be mounted in a number of different situations and applications. So be sure to check those out if you need something that provides awesome uh you know low base that doesn't take up a lot of space well matt i think you've got our interest peak tell us now as far as availability uh when can dealers get their hands on some of these enclosures and uh what do they need to do to find out more info yeah, Ben, I'm glad you asked. So these enclosures were just right now uh, kind of showing off at the moment. These will be available very, very soon to dealers. We're hoping to have these in dealers' hands before the end of the year, uh, but there is not a absolute uh, confirmed release date this moment. I suspect we will start launching pre-orders very soon, though. And then as far as uh, more details and things like that, we should have these up on the website uh, very soon uh, at www.audiocontrol.com. So make sure to go there and check it out for any more details, photos, specs, etc. Thanks so much for checking them out today. C Outlook is dedicated to keeping the car audio and the electronics industry informed on the latest issues, trends, and product releases. New feature stories posted daily. Visit cloutlook.com for the latest industry news. Well, one of the legendary brands from car audio history, Orion Car Audio, has found a new home and new ownership. We go now to the new owner and general manager for Orion Car Audio, Edgar Sedeno, who's standing by to tell us a little more about this acquisition. Now, obviously, Edgar, we know you have a history in this business, but Orion has a rich history in car audio and it means a lot to so much. So explain to us the, the huge announcement and what, you know, what was motivating to become the new owner of Orion Car Audio? Hello, Ben. Well, here, here we are, my friend. Thanks for uh, having me here. And... Uh, to give you a little uh, knowledge of what happened with Orion, it's as you know, it's it's a huge brand. It's been around since back in the 70s, right? If not the 60s. Uh, the reason for we acquiring Orion again is because being such a great name and such a great brand, we uh, at Soundprouse, that is the new owners, for the the mother company, decided not that it was time for us to step in get a hold of this brand and bring it back to its glory, bring it back to what it used to be when everybody was passionate about car audio, when people from young ages was just couldn't wait to get a, an Orion product into their vehicle, you know, and listen to the, to the very fine, you know, music on their cars. And this is why, this is why. And the history with me and Orion is I've been with Orion for the past 14 years. Um, I had left, but now we're back together, and I just want to bring it back to its glory. I just want to be one of those persons that bring back the brand and the name to those people who are passionate about Orion. Orion has a great following, and we just want to be there for them. So the brand itself means a lot to so many, like I had mentioned. I mean, it was there from the beginning, and although the brand has changed hands, the products have always seemed very solid. So... When you look at Orion as it is now, and I'm sure you have plans for it moving forward, you know, what are some of the those key traits that you feel people love about Orion product? Well, Ben, the products. To be honest, Orion has been known for the exceptional quality of the products. They, they perform. They perform at a high level, right? And the, especially the guys with the sound pressure league, the SPLs, the competition. Orion is known on, on the competition lanes. 
people just love Orion, especially, you know, those those uh, uh, big woofers, those powerful amplifiers where they're competition. And then, of course, we have the regular guys that just love Orion for being Orion. Again, the entry level to the middle level uh, lineups are very exceptional, very high quality of music coming out of the product. And um, again, Orion, back in the days, it was the number one uh, competition brand out there. It was very competitive against all of the other brands. And that's why people still love it. And there's still people looking out for it. They can count on Orion to make sure that the product is right for them. Now, Edgar, I can see on your table two very iconic pieces. I mean, the color says it all. I'm going to imagine that the red is going to represent the legendary HCCA line, and the black, I can only assume, stands for XTR. So can you walk us through real quick, um, brief, you know, what are the product lines, and maybe you have some show and tell to show us. Well, Ben, as you know it, of course, the color says it all. That's why everybody recognizes Orion is the legendary anodized red, the amplifiers the hcc amplifiers the ones that everybody can can count on okay we have a new lineup of products okay you're starting from you know a thousand watts all the way to seventeen thousand watts okay we are ready for everybody we have of course the lineup of the famous hcca recallable woofers 10 12 15s now we, we even have 18 inches okay going starting at 2000 rms all the way to 7500 rms for woofer depending on the size okay oh that is what you said everybody the icon of the line hcca okay now on the other hand we have the xtrs the xtrs as you know 10 12 15 and they have we have the famous xtrs amplifiers the black with the gray is still very iconic heatsink they come they have the same heatsink the red and the and the black one and that's why they're recognized Again, Bragging, yes, XTRs and HCA are very, very known on the industry because of the reliability of the product. That's it. That's what you can count on. And this is just the beginning, my friend. We have a huge lineup of new products coming that we want to be able to share with all the uh, fanatics out there. By next year, we are promising new and improved products all around the lineup. I got to say, I get a little bit of goosebumps when I see those amps uh, on, on your table and you're talking about them for sure. And I want to ask you one more question, Edgar. You mentioned different levels uh, of product range. Obviously, HCCA probably in the upper end, maybe XTR one step down from that. But I remember back in the day, a lot of friends getting into car audio with a brand called Cobalt. What's going on with that? Well, Ben, you couldn't let me get away. Uh, you, as always, asking the right questions. Listen, Cobalt, as of right now, is being redesigned. Okay. We're bringing an entry-level product that is going to blow everybody's mind away. Okay, I don't have anyone to show you right now because, like I said, it's being already signed. All of our woofers, okay, 10, 12, 15s, we're coming back with them again, very strong, and all the amplifiers, okay, together with the woofers that are being already signed. We are hoping to be ready by the end of the year, and we're hoping before the quarter of next year we'll, be have, we'll have the product here available to supply to all the customers. Remember, on the Cobalt lineup, we have something that we didn't have before, okay? That is a pro audio section. That's, we have mid-ranges, tweeters, you know, drivers, everything, everything that we want, including the new accessories line that is also part of Cobalt, a very entry-level line with accessories. Very affordable, very good, very reliable. Well, Edgar, very exciting news coming from Orion Car Audio, now under new ownership with lots of plans underway. What can you tell us as far as staying in touch and making sure that we're on top of your news? Where should dealers go to make sure they have all the latest updates coming from Orion Car Audio? Well, Ben, of course, here. Yeah. The best thing about it is, of course, online right now, okay? We're bringing, like I said, new products. We are trying to keep everybody informed about it. And the best way to get to us is at www.orioncardio.com. Okay, this is it. We're going to keep everybody informed there. Yes, follow us, keep in touch. We're going to be showing a lot of new things coming up for the new year. Mark your calendar. CMA Expo is returning in 2024 to the Toronto Congress Center on April 5th, 6th, and 7th. A huge thank you to all the Canadian dealers who attended and made the inaugural event such an amazing success. You spoke and we listened. Thanks to your feedback, we've implemented some important changes to enhance your experience even further. Confirmed exhibitors for the 2024 CMA Expo are Automobility, Importel, Trends Electronics, 
Gemsend Distribution, JVC Kenwood, Gentech International, Pioneer, Dix Performance, Sirius XM, Ericsson Consumer, Metra, Amp Global, Fortin. Stay tuned for the early bird registration slated for October 5th. For more information and the latest updates, follow us on social or visit cmaexpo.ca. Keep it locked on cmanetworks.com as we broadcast fresh content daily with new videos dropping Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern. This is CMA Live All Access brought to you by SiriusXM and presented by 5-Axis Innovations. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect. There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM with over 150 channels in your vehicle. Your Platinum Plan offer includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM video on demand. What you love is on now.